Hello. In this Java tutorial, we are going to learn how to use the scanner class to take input from the user in the console. So the first thing we have to do, even before we create a class, is we have to import the scanner class. We're going to say import java.util.scanner with a capital S. We'll hit a semicolon there. Next, we can create the class like we normally do. So we're going to call this public class user input. Then we'll open and close the class. We're going to create a main method, public static void main string array args. Open and close this. The next thing we need to do is we need to create an instance of the scanner class. So we're going to declare a variable of type scanner. Since scanner is an object type variable, we start it with a capital S. Then we'll call our variable keyboard. People generally call it keyboard or KBD. It doesn't matter, but pick a variable name that makes sense. Now we need to initialize a variable, so we'll say equals new scanner, open close parentheses, system with a capital S dot IN, and end with a semicolon. So we can use this variable, which is pointing at a scanner object, to take input from the console here. We're going to start by learning how to use the scanner object to take input for the three primitive types you need to use for the AP Computer Science A course. Those three primitives are boolean, int, and double. So we'll start by declaring a double. We'll call it x and we'll say equals keyboard dot next double and then open close parentheses and end with a semicolon. Now when we run it we're going to notice that it just kind of hangs here. And that's because it's waiting for us to enter in a double before it can continue. So I can enter in a double 12.3, and then it finishes the program. Now generally it makes sense to let the user know what you want. So I'm going to say system out print line type in your height. So now when I run it, It's going to say type in your height, and it's going to pause to wait for me to type in the next double, and then it's going to finish. So I'm going to say 55.0, and there we go. Now we're going to add some more code. We're going to do this with an int and then with a boolean. So for an int, it's going to be almost the same. We're going to say int y equals keyboard dot next, next with a lowercase n, int, open, close parentheses. And we also want some text to let the user know what information we want. So we'll say, what is your age? So then when we run it, it's going to first ask us your height. Then it's waiting for us to type in our height. So I'm going to say 55.9. Then it's going to say, what is your age? And it's waiting for us to enter in our age. So I'll say 32 and hit enter and then it finishes the program. So now we're going to do it with a boolean and we're going to say boolean. Now x and y are bad variable names for this because they don't really explain what the purpose of the variable is. So I'm going to say is female and then I'm going to say equals keyboard dot next boolean open close parentheses i'm going to say system out print line i'm going to say are you female and i'm going to let the user know we want it in true false because if we enter the wrong data type it's going to crash the program so end with a semicolon i'm going to run it we're asking height 55 age 21 and are you female false all right, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to learn how to take strings in. By the way, for more information on strings, please click on the link in the upper right-hand corner of this screen. So I'm going to say string name, and I'm going to set it equal to keyboard.next. People expect it's going to be next string, but no, it's .next. Now this will only take the first word, takes the first word 
on a line. So if you type several different words separated by a space, it's only going to take the first one. If we wanted to say string like full name and get all the words on the line, we would say keyboard.next line, open close parentheses. The thing to be careful about is if you switch back and forth between next line and next or next line and, you know, some of these uh, other ones like next boolean, next int, you will sometimes have problems where we'll skip over one. So I'd recommend using against next line unless you're going to be using next line exclusively. So we'll say takes the entire line of text and say be careful using in combination with other dot nexts. So that explains how you use the scanner class to take user input from the console. For more information, you can go to Google and type in Java scanner class and choose the first link. To see the next lesson in this curriculum, please click on the video link in the lower left hand corner of the screen. To see the entire curriculum, please click on the video link in the lower right hand corner of the screen.